Hello everyone, I am Cindy from Crockett Crochet. Today I'm going to teach you how to make the airport cases under the sea theme. So this theme we will have uh, five types of sea animals. I hope you love it and let's see the preview of this video. First of all, I will teach you to make the bed case for all the airport. And then the first one is a whale. The second animal is a cloudfish. The third one would be the shark. And the fourth one is a mermaid shell. This one is inspired from my mermaid top. You can see the link of my mermaid top in the description box. And the last one would be the seal. This one is very cute and fluffy, but it's kind of big. It's like a hybrid of door and airport case. Also, I have the charger protector for you as a ball as well. For more airport cases, you can see the link in the description box. For the base body part of the airport, you need 4 ply yarn and 2.5 mm crochet hook. So, uh, the first row, you're going to start with 10 chain. Yeah, 10 chain, and then you will going to make uh, SC in the second stitch from the hook, and then make two sc one and two and then make three chain one two and three three chain and then you skip three stitch one two three three stitch and then keep making three sc one sc two sc and then three sc Okay, after you finish the first row, you will use the, the, the yarn to mark the last stitch of the first row. Mark the last stitch of the first row. And then for the second row, you are going to start from the same stitch at the end of the first row. So we are going to start at the same stitch, which is the last uh, stitch of this line. Uh, we make four SC in the same stitch. Same S or uh, four SC in the same stitch. Okay, so totally, if you count uh, SC from the first row, it is going to be five SC in this stitch. Okay, and then you have to do uh, seven SC. When you reach the end of the line, uh, after you finish uh, 7 SC, right, uh, you're going to make 3 increase. 1 increase. 2 uh, Please note that uh, the stitch that you have to put in is a stitch next to the the first increase stitch so people make a mistake because uh, they put the hook into the the wrong stitch and uh, it is more it is very important that after you finish the second row you are going to have uh, 26 stitches so if you end up having 25 it means that uh, you put the hook into the wrong stitch so make sure that at the end of this row, you must get 26 stitches, okay?
Okay, now I finished the second row. I have 26 stitch totally. Okay, after you finish making a second row, uh, change the mark yarn to another row. So for the third row, it's not very hard. Just make two SC, one and two, and then increase. And then uh, make nine SC. After you finish nine SC, make increase. And then two SC. And then increase. After that, making 9 SC and then the last stitch would be increase okay 9 SC all right and the last stitch is increase okay after you finish this row you're going to have 30 stitches okay uh, for row 4 to row 15, make 30 HC around. So the number of the row depends on the height you want it to be. Some yarn is larger, some, some type of yarn is smaller. So if you make uh, to row 15 and it doesn't fit, maybe it's too big or maybe it's too small, uh, keep in mind that you might need to decrease the number of the row in order to get the right size that can fit your airport. Okay, then for row 15, you're going to make a 20 SC and then fasten off and then skip X stitch and then make another 2 SC for another side. So this this will allow you to open the lid uh, without getting anything of stuck. Okay, for the base case, uh, you are going to do the same thing for the body part except for the hole. So just follow the code I wrote on the screen. For the first row, you're going to make 10 chains and then make SC in the second stitch from the hook and then make 8 SC. So you see, we don't have the hole for the first row. Okay, for row 2 to row 6, you are going to uh, repeat the same step as the body part. Um, for the last row, it is optional for you. Uh, if you found that your, your lid is too small, you don't need to do it. But I recommend you make 30 slip stitch for the last row and then fasten off. So now uh, I'm going to make a 30 slip stitch. You can just keep slip stitch around or maybe just half of the lid. Okay, now I'm done. Uh, I just fasten off. You can try if it fit the lid of the airport. This is really crucial because uh, it keeps slipped. The, the case keeps slipping the whole time. Okay, now we can open it. Okay, to make sure that it will, uh, it will not slip off. Uh, I recommend you guys apply the silicone glue or the silicone sealant. So uh, you can add it in inside the lid. Okay, just apply it like this. Yeah, I recommend you guys apply it uh, a little bit thicker. 
because it can hold the airport this is just optional you don't need the silicone glue uh, if you can accept that it might slip up some time so I wait for a few hours and it's completely dry and then I put it on the airport case again it's pretty easy to put it on and it's just not slipping okay and then just put the body part and now we're done for the body of the airport you can go to decorate uh, as you want it to be so I have another pattern for you guys also you can uh, sew the little the body part you know but you can sew it later after you decorate uh, if the list keeps slipping off I recommend you uh, apply more glue around the edge as well so it is better okay see the first this side is the well we are going to use a 3mm crochet hook for this one For the base veil body, uh, the first row you're going to start with 14 chain, uh, 4 HDC. Okay, you make a uh, 4 HDC in the uh, in the third stitch from the hook. Okay, make the first S make the first HDC from the third stitch from the hook. Okay, continue making uh, 4 HDC and then 4 chain and then you skip. Four. You skip four stitch, and after you skip four stitch, make four HDC. Uh, after you finish the first row, you're going to have a uh, twelve, twelve stitches. Keep in mind that for the wheel body part, uh, we're going to use three mm crochet hook, which will be uh, different from the this case part I have shown you in the beginning of the video all right I almost done with the first row uh, I'm having 12 stitches for the second row uh, we start off with 4 HTC in the same stitch you know actually it is the same stitch as the last stitch from the first row so basically uh they will have like five hdc for the last row of the line and then uh for the whole line make uh you have to do a uh, to 11 hdc along the line I almost done with Eowish at DC. Okay, for uh for the, the after I finish uh seven eleven HDC, uh we are going to make a uh, four D four D C in the same stitch. One Okay, now it's two already. Uh, two, three, and four also okay. So just make four STC in the same stitch and then continue 11 at DC. Alright, and then for the last. Uh, after you finish 11 ATC, make 2 ATC in the same stitch. We're going to have a 32 stitch for, from the second row. And then uh, we continue the third. Then for the third row, uh, we're going to make a 2 ATC in the same stitch for 5 times. So now I am repeating a 2 ATC in the same stitch. It is just like increased cost for single crochet, but uh, we're going to do HDC instead of single crochet. So basically, make uh, five increases. All right, and then even HDC along the line. Okay, after that, you just continue according to the code. Uh, it's not very complicated, so so just follow the code, you know. 
After you finish the third row, you're going to have 42 stitches. All right, now I have finished it. Okay, and then for the fourth row, you're going to change to blue color, and then you make a uh, SC around uh, back loop only, just back loop, okay? And then for row five to row thirteen, repeat continue. Uh, according to the code I wrote on the screen, uh, if you can capture the screen, you should do that. Uh, for the last row, which is row thirteen, uh. Actually, we're going to have 40 stitches around at the end of this wheel body But for the, the last row, uh, I do only 30 stitches be uh, 30 SC, sorry uh, Because uh, I want to uh, leave some space, you know For the uh, for closing and opening the airport case Alright, after you finish it sew the back part using the white thread and then sew the uh, upper edge and then sew the body side as well uh, along along uh, along the case down because uh, when I uh, fill in the polyester fiber uh, the polyester fiber will not go to the part I don't want to okay and then uh, we start off the base will lit so this one is a lit uh we're going to start with uh seven chain and then make sc in the second stitch from the hook and then continue making uh until you have four sc uh for the last row of uh for the last stitch of this row we're going to have three sc in the same stitch one two and three okay and then uh we're going to make four sc along the line one two three and four and four okay and then for the last on the last stitch again we're going to make increase uh after you finish this row you're going to have 14 stitches all right and after that please capture the screen because it, the code is not so complicated uh please follow uh the code i wrote on the screen you can capture the screen and then work later on Okay, uh, for the second row, we're going to continue increasing the stitch uh, until we have 18 stitches. For the third row as well, we continue increasing. For the fourth row, we continue increasing. And for uh, row 5 to row 7, we just uh, have uh, SC constantly for 36 stitches. And then for row 8, we're going to continue increasing All right, until we have 40 stitches. And then for row 9, uh, it is kind of special. So uh, totally, uh, when when you finish uh, the whole lead part, you're going to have, uh, at the end, you're going to have 40 stitches because this 40 stitch will be correspond to the whale body part. Uh, but uh, for the last row, which is row 9, you will need to do only 24 at C and then you will skip uh, 12 stitches and then you slip stitch the yarn in again and then make another 4 at C 1 2 3 and 4 so uh, in, in this method uh, we are going to have some space left for the uh, with, uh, left for coursing and opening the airport lid and then you just saw the wheel lead to the base lid okay <laughs> and you know the bases will uh will be covered inside with the silicone so it will attach to the top part uh, to the lid part of the airport and then are uh, we going to make the wheel tummy line uh you're going to start off with in the middle of the back side you know and then uh, make slip stitch the white yarn in first okay after you finish this at the middle uh, make two SC along the line uh, so this is the this is the purpose of uh, making the back loop for the first uh, blue row uh, because we can like insert the yarn to make the tummy line for the whale all right after you make two SC make HDC and another HDC okay so you have two HDC totally 
after HDC, you will make DC. So uh, we are going to make 3 DC. But for this row, it's kind of special because it's not uh, even. So you have to go a little bit lower to uh, the stitch below and then make DC. Okay, make another DC and then another one. So we have 3 DC totally. Alright, uh, keep going and then uh, you make 6 HDC around the side way, uh, the, the side body of the wheel. Okay, and you can follow the, the code I wrote on the screen uh, after you make 6 HDC. Okay, I'm making 6 HDC right now. 1 Two, three, and four, and five, and then uh, we continue making the the code I wrote on the screen. Uh, keep in mind that uh, for after you finish uh, the first set, uh, which is uh, after six SDC, we have three DC, two SGC, and two SC, and then uh, for the for uh, after you finish the first set, uh, you are going to make a slip stitch first, and then you continue making uh, another. Another uh another set uh for the rest of the tummy part. Okay, and now I'm finished. Just uh slip sit and fasten off, cut the yarn. Okay, after you finish making the tummy, just uh sew the middle uh a little bit down, and then uh this will make the shape of the tummy look better. And then you sew the tummy, attaching it uh in this shape. Alright, and then I'm making crossing stitches on both sides of the top in order to secure the polyester fiber and don't let it uh, uh, slip off in any way. So we're going to slip stitch the yarn in and make it C and then it, uh, sorry, make the slip stitch first and then make it C, make HDC and then it HDC and then SC and slip stitch. So it's not so hard, it's just like 6 stitch around Okay, after you're making the, the closing uh, So just sew it to close the hole And then you will get something like it Do it for both sides uh, For the fin, uh, this is quite easy So first uh, you start with magic ring 3 SC You're going to have 3 stitch uh, This might be a little bit hard because it's just small but uh, I only use 3 uh, three SC because uh, I want it to uh, look a little bit sharp, uh, you know, a little bit sharp, you know, for the fin. Uh, we make a 3 SC and then for the second row, we make 3 increases. Uh, after you make it, uh, you will have like 6 stitch and then you reverse it. After you finish, uh, Row 5, just fill in polyester fiber and continue row 6 to row 8 and then just sew the fin above the tummy. Uh, if you cannot uh, like if you cannot catch up the code for the fin, please capture the screen and then you work on your own. Okay, and then I sew it a little bit above the tummy. Okay. After that, uh, I make the water fountain. Uh, we're going to start off with magic with magic ring for SC. This may be a little bit hard because it's also very small as well. And then we, uh, after you finish uh, the the first to second row, just try to reverse it up and then make until you reach five row and make two pieces of it and then slip stitch together. Make the six row for SC around. Uh, after you finish uh, the six row, uh, you're going to join both parts together. Okay, make XSC around. Okay, you guys, after you finish the 6th row, you're going to start off the 7th row by making 2 SC and then decrease. 
uh, for two sets so this will make you have only six stitches and then row eight and nine you're going to make six SC around and after that you can fasten off and it's done it's not really complicated uh, you can just basically uh, follow the code I wrote on the screen Okay, uh, follow the code I wrote on the screen and after that, uh, just uh, cut the wire and then uh, for the end of the wire and then insert it as follow. Just insert into the both sides of the water. Uh, cut another, uh, make another side and then uh, just insert it. And then just bend it and sew on the top of the wheel head. Alright, sew it here. Then also the lead part to the body part. Uh, remember, we have to uh, leave some space for open and closing. And then I use felt fabric, or you can use other material as well to decorate the cheek and the mouth. And then sew the six mm eyes uh, a little bit on top of the fin. Uh, attach them with the glue. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and check out more free patterns. Uh, thank you so much. The second design is a cloudfish. We are going to use 3mm crochet hook for the fish. Uh, for the bed case, we are going to use orange case for lid and body part. For airport body, we use uh, orange and we will going to uh, make the fish body by using 3mm crochet hook. So, uh, he reminded that this is a different type of hook. So, for the uh, airport case, uh, you will use a uh, 2.5mm. But now, for the uh, body part of the fish, we are going to use a uh, 3mm crochet hook. So now okay, for the first row, we're going to start with 13, the, uh, 13 uh, chains and the, then uh, 3 HDC so and then uh, we're going to make 4 chain and then skip 4 stitch and then make 3 HDC. So this basic is pretty much like the body part of the case uh, and then we just mark it with a, a blue yarn and uh, for, the, for the same stitch, we're going to make to increase so it's going to be increased for two times in this stitch okay to increase in this stitch all right and then uh, then uh, you're going to go on with uh, SC then and please uh, shoot the right stitch is going to be the stitch that is exactly adjacent to the uh, last stitch you have done so please be very careful or else you won't get uh, enough stitch for the base okay and then uh, we make a nice nice SC all right Okay, now we are done with 9 SC and for the last stitch, uh, is uh, increase. Okay, now uh, please check if you get uh, 30 stitches. Alright, for row 3, we're going to start with uh, 4 SC and then increase and then repeat this set for 6 times. This is very simple. After you finish this row, you're going to have 36 stitches. For all four, keep follow the code I wrote on the screen. Uh, after you finish row four, you're going to have 42 stitches. And for row five to row seven, repeat 42 SC around. You get something like this. Uh -huh. For row eight, uh, this one is a bit tricky. You need to change the color uh, from orange to white. And the chart will show you where to change the color. So after you finish 2SC with orange, uh, change it to white. 
so you change the color like this and then continue making white single crochet for three times three sc in white so there is a little bit of tweak so just you have to tie the yarn together in order to secure it okay for another trick is that uh, you try to uh, keep the orange yarn behind behind the stitch okay by uh, putting the hook under under the orange yarn and then uh, the orange yarn will be under the stitch you know be inside the stitch okay and then you can chain to orange really easily okay then keep going uh, 18 SC which orange color and then just follow the code I wrote on the screen you have to change to white color again all right for row 9 uh, we're going to do a similar thing but the pattern is a bit a little bit different so you start with a uh, one SC in orange and then you change you change it to uh, five SC in uh, in white okay five SC in white okay keep making five SC try to uh, put the yarn okay above the hook in order to uh, hide it within the stitch and your work inside wouldn't be wouldn't be so messy so it's not going to be messy okay and you can change the color very very easily okay now we continue with uh, 16 all right so is this the same thing uh pete capture the screen for the code uh, from row 10 to row 15 so the white one represent white yarn and the orange one represent orange yarn so you need to follow this pattern to get the crowd fit to get the crowd fit okay just capture the screen and then work on your own all right after you finish row 15 you're going to have 50 stitches all right and then fasten off cut the yarn okay and then just uh, clean the work inside a little bit it's quite messy okay and after that just sew the case body to the fish body we sew it at the base okay okay now we are done we can insert the the airport okay and then we fill the polyester fiber and then we're going to sew the edges then you sew the case body to the fish part at the top edge as well just like what i'm doing right now try to use the lighter thread and then i sew the sides to reshape the body of the fish as well and then i make two fillers in order to cause where the polyester came out so first of all for the for, just follow the code on the screen First of all, you make a egg chain and then you make HDC in the third stitch from the hook and then make 5 HDC. So totally, you're going to have 6 HDC on this line, which is 6 stitches. Alright, and then you make two filler. Ah, you feel it uh, to close the polyester like this and then you sew it on the top of both sides of the fish part okay I also try to reshape the feet into the rectangle all right, you can do this as well. Just try to uh, sew the, the the side and make it look like rectangle. All right, and then it's perfect. Okay, and then we're going to start with the fish, the fish tail. The fish tail uh, 
for the first row you we going to go with six chain and then make one chain and then turn and then make hc on the second stitch uh, second chain from the hook and then make hc hdc hdc dc and dc so totally for this row you're going to have six stitches okay for the second row we're going to work in the back loop only okay back loop only uh, first of all make three chain and then turn and then you make dc in the back loop okay then dc in the back loop all right and then hdc in the back loop and then hdc in the back loop as well and then sc and then sc so totally in the back loop all right and then for the third row third row you're going to make one chain and then turn make sc in the third in the back row only and then sc again dc in the back row oh hdc sorry hdc in the back row and then last one is dc and another DC in the back row so totally each row you're going to have six stitches and then for row 4 repeat row 2 row 5 repeat row 3 row 6 repeat row 2 and row 7 repeat row 3 so totally we're going to make seven row after you finish seven row just slip stitch the back yarn in and then make two SC on the top of each row. Okay. All right. Okay. Make uh, first of all you can make a chain first, and then make SC, and then SC. Okay. Try to uh put the hook into the stitch. You know, not in the hole between each stitch because it doesn't look very pretty. Okay. Put. Yeah, for each row, make two SC on top of it, and you know you have seven row. Uh, that's that is the reason why you're going to have fourteen SC on the top of the tail. Okay, so keep making two SC in each hook. It got it in each row. All right, and now we're done. Just uh, fasten off and cut the yarn. Okay. All right, and then uh, for the below part of the tail, we're going to use a white yarn, and then we're going to make SC on top of each row. So uh, we make only one SC in each row. Uh, that is why we're going to have uh, seven SC totally. All right, we're almost done. Uh, we have uh, seven SC here. Okay, so seven SC. You will notice that uh, on top of the on top of the stitch, there is uh, now is it might be a little bit hard because uh, we need to work in front loop only, and we need to form the circle. We ha you have to do it in circle. So first of all, we're going to make DC. I oh, sorry, decrease decrease but in the first row only so we make three decrease one decrease this is two decrease and then the last one is the third decrease okay three decrease okay and and next one we going to make it C and then turn turn okay and then for the for the front row again make uh, decrease decrease and then the next one would be decrease mm, 
might be a little bit hard, but keep in mind that you need to form the circle, like from the row, okay? And then the last one would be SC. Okay, this one would be SC. Alright, and then you just need to uh, put the hook into the first. For row 7 to row 9, just keep on following this chart and then you can capture the screen and then change the color for the following for row 10 uh, you have to be do uh, two hdc in the same stitch and then dc and then two hdc in the same stitch after that you keep making uh, for the chart uh, for row uh, 11 it would be a little bit trickier uh, first of all you make a uh, hdc and then you make three to DC in the same stage and then 3 DC okay 1 2 and 3 all right and then make 2 DC in the same stage again okay so if you can see that I try to make a DC HGC uh, in the um, in the top part of in the side part I mean in the both in both side part of the of the fish all right and then after that uh, keep making uh, as I wrote on the screen uh, making for SC and then after you make for SC just fasten off and cut the yarn out and then after that you skip X stitches and then just slip stitch the yarn in make for SC and repeat the same code in the bucket so in the bucket I wrote the uh, symbol already that the bucket is SDC uh, go away all around until fasten off okay so just repeat the same code from above All right, I start. I finish uh, the code in the bucket already, and okay, we can fasten off and cut the yarn, and then skip X stitch again, and then for uh, SLST uh, slip stitch, and then uh, make for SC. Now we done for uh, row eleven. We are going to have fifty stitches. For row twelve, it's not really hard. Just keep making. Uh, 80 stitch uh, 80 SC so around and then we are done after we done just fasten off okay this is the fish tail okay and then I put on the lid part and then put on the fish tail and then I'm going to sew them together so uh, for my trip is that you need to sew the fish tail a little bit lower than the lid Okay, so fish tail a little bit lower than the lid, uh, and then just sew it to the body as follow. Uh, you don't need to sew the whole thing, just on the edge. And then uh, I make slip stitch at the edge of both tail and body in order to smooth the surface. Okay, uh, for me, I make uh, I uh, start uh, slip stitch the left side of the tail and start from the right side of the body. So for the fin, the fin I keep uh, is the same step as the tail. For first of all, make four chain, and then make HD, SDC, and DC. And for the third row, make three chain, turn DC, HDC, and SC for back loop only. And then for row four, just keep follow the code on the screen. Okay because it is the same concept as the tail so I don't want to show it really much all right
after that you're going to do the same thing just slip stitch the back yarn in and then make two SC on top of each row the same thing as the tail okay so totally you're going to have six stitches Okay, now we're done. Uh, for me, I will sew the yarn in order to make it pierce like the fin, you know. Okay, make it pierce, uh, make it pointly, I mean. Uh, and then sew the fin to both sides of the body. Okay, for eye and mouth, I cut the small piece of white coat uh, and then use the 8mm eyes and then put it through the hole that I cut and then uh, I cut it in circle all right and this is the eye just try to trim it as much as possible make two of them and sew both eye to the body okay sew it to the body after that I embolier the mouth uh, you can shoot to opt out if you don't like the mouth but I find it's hard to embolier the mouth because I'm not very really good at doing this kind of stuff. Okay, thank you so much for The third design is a chubby shark. This one is kinda cute though. Uh, this one we're going to use the 3mm crochet hook as well for the shark skin and please make the bed case as white. For a sharp part, uh, you're going to use four pie yarn, gray and white color, and then crochet hook 3mm. First off, you start the first row with chain 21 chain, and then turn and then make 28 C. For the second row, you make one chain and then turn and then make increase. Increase first. Okay, and then make uh, 18 SC. Okay, keep making SC. Alright, uh, and then for the last stitch, uh, you're going to make a uh, increase as well. So after you finish the second row, you're going to have two vintage stitches. Alright, and then uh, you're going to repeat the same step, you know, for the rest. I mean, for row 3 to row 10, just follow the code I wrote on the screen. You can capture the screen if you want to because it's quite simple. So I'm not going to explain all of this. After you finish row 10, uh, we're going to uh, continue with row 11. For row 11, you make a 12 SC and then fasten up. Alright, fasten off. Okay, cut the yarn and then uh, just count a 12 stitches and then skip it. And then you just lift the yarn in. Okay, this is how we skip the, the slip the yarn in and then make a little SC and you, you reach the end of the line. Uh, after that, you just fasten off. Okay, I'm now I'm done with the shark skin and then just wrap the skin around the body and then sew it to the body part. Uh, you can start from the bottom because it's seem to be easier because you can like uh, just can hold the the skin to the body like it and then sew it I recommend you uh, make it while the airport case is inside because you will see the X tag paste for it and then after that uh, I recommend you make slip stitch at the edge because uh, it will make the the edge of the chalk of the chalk skin smoother so just keep uh, making uh, slip stitch you know uh, one slip stitch per one row 
okay and then fasten off and then for the other side uh, you need to start from the top uh, the top instead because like uh, the stitch will be the right side you know so just keep doing the same thing Okay, and then uh, I already finished uh, and then sew it to the body part. Just uh, continue sewing this to the body. Alright, I leave a little bit of space, you know, on the upper edge. Leave a little bit of space, okay, and then sew it on the upper edge as well okay and then sew it at the back side too uh, don't forget that uh, for the back side you have to uh, sew it at the edge of the airport case for the back side for if you remember the body part the body part is a little bit like for the back side is a little bit lower than the front side because you need to uh, have the space you know for opening the lid okay for the shark head uh, this is uh, this is quite simple but uh, it might be a little bit hard for some persons because uh, it is quite small and it's quite piercing so for the first row you're going to make a magic ring 3 sc and then for the second row you make a sc uh, so sorry for second row you make a uh, increase for three times and then you have six stitch and then for the third row you make SC and increase for three times as well and after you finish the third row you're going to have nine stitches for the first row is then for the first row uh, we're going to start off by changing the color from gray to white so in the chart uh, for the white uh, alphabet I represent the white coat for for a shark face you know but for the for the black alphabet is represent gray coat so uh, when you change the color uh, please make sure you tie both yarn together okay and then uh, for the first row fourth row you're going to start with a uh, to SC in white color so now I'm making two SC one SC and then two SC and then uh, when you change the color I change the color to gray and then make increase in the next stitch increase Okay, one SC and another one in the same stitch is increased. After that, I'll make two SC. One, two. And then the next stitch would be increased. And then the next one would be two SC. After I finish it, uh, the last stitch would be increased, you know, but this increase is quite special. You have to make one SC in gray and another SC is white, you know, in the same stitch. So after you finish the fourth row, you're going to have 12 stitch totally. For the fifth row, you're going to start off with three SC in white and then change the color to, to gray and then continue the code as I wrote on the screen. Okay, uh, you can uh, do it by your own, you know, for row 6 to row 12, uh, you're going to uh, follow the code I wrote on the screen, you guys can capture the screen and then uh, work, work on it later, so uh, the code pattern will be like this. And okay, for the last row, it might be a little bit different because uh, after you finish uh, 14 SC, and then you have to fasten off and then you script uh, 11 stitches and then make a uh, uh, slip stitch the yarn in again and then make 9 SC 
after night SC you make two slip stitch and then fasten off so this one uh, will be just like the skin part you know so you just uh, have the space for the open and close the lid and then you can sew the lid to uh, sew the, the face of to the chalk head to the lid uh, you only sew it in the front and the back side you don't need to sew it side way so it's, it's like this okay after that uh, I recommend you making the outline around the white area to make the outline you have to use the smaller hook side and if you have the bed the smaller hook the better you can do this so basically you just uh, put the insert the hook into the stitch and then uh, make slip stitch around the white area to make the outline okay now I'm done with the outlying so you can see uh, this one is make your work look very neat For the shark fin, you have to make two of them. Uh, you make nine chain at first. Uh, okay, nine chain, and then you make a DC in the third stitch from the hook. Okay, make DC in the third in the third stitch from the hook. All right, DC, and then next one is DC as well, and then the next stitch would be HDC, and next one is also HDC. And the next one would be uh, SC and the next one would be slip stitch and the last one would be slip stitch and then you uh, make a uh, slip stitch to the second stitch on the other side and then keep making SC and then two HDC and then three DC so keep in mind that uh, for both sides it has to be symmetrical All right, uh, I almost done. Okay. Okay, this is uh, the last HTC, and then I uh, fold it in half. So and then uh, you make four HC on the edge. Okay, you can uh, make one chain first and then make HC. So uh, you need to like insert the hook into two layer of the fin uh, this way you can like attach two layer together uh, make four SC and then uh, make slip stitch this might be a little bit hard but just make two slip stitch uh, if you cannot do two slip stitch you can just like uh, fasten off you know you don't need to do uh, all of them if you cannot insert the hook into the into the stitch I mean okay but I can do it so I make two slip stitch and you get the shape like this all right and then uh, okay you can just fasten off like this all right and then uh, you make two of them and then just sew it on uh, both sides of the body so uh, for the edge part that you make it's going to attach to the body size and then it look like this okay and then after that make the chuck tail so just follow the code I wrote on the screen it is very simple make two of them and then attach to the bottom part um, just like the leg attach it just sew it Okay, and for the lower tummy, this is optional if you want it. So just make a chain and then two slip stitch and then make a C and then increase and then a C and then slip stitch again and then you make it as follow and then you sew it uh, on the bottom uh, between the legs. So this is optional, you don't need to do this, but if you want to, you can do it.
all right now i'm pretty much done uh okay it's look pretty cool on the sharp anyway so make the shape uh look more like the sharp okay all right and then uh that's a so 6 mm breeze you know as the eye uh you can sew it on the winch that you make um i recommend you sew it around the middle of the head you know so it look nicer and then uh if you can do the nose uh, just do it as well the nose like this and then uh, you cut the felted fabric the red one and the white one as follow so you cut the the teeth and then cut the mouth and then you use the glue you can use a silicone glue to glue them together and then just uh, put another glue on the back side of the mouth and then attach it to the body part okay or you attach it around the upper edge of the body okay and now we pretty much done you know so you can sew the the head to the body part and uh, don't forget to sew the side of the body attach it to the uh, airport case body uh, you don't need to put the polyester fiber in okay for the top part of the shark you know uh, I bent the top of the head a little bit and sew it uh, this one will make the shape look like the hook okay now uh, I'm done just put the airport case in and now here we go okay this is the chart it look a little bit chilly but if you like it please subscribe for more patterns the fourth design is the wonderful chill this one is very really gorgeous i use 3mm crochet hook for the whole chill and the decoration make the pink base case and make the light pink base lid This one I got the inspiration from my moment top. You can see the link in the description box. You will need four pie yarn in a uh, pink, hot pink, light pink, and white, and then three mm crochet hook. For the shell base, you're going to need only hot pink, pink, and light pink. For the first row, you're going to start with magic ring and then make three chain in hot pink. And then I recommend you have the clip to uh secure the the loop just like that because we need to uh, make the whole thing in this magic ring and uh, after making three chain chain to a uh, pink one and make five chain and then chain to the light pink in five chain according to the screen uh, code and then for row two uh, we're going to turn and then make dc in the third stitch from the hook all right and then uh, you will have to make a uh, 5 DC in light pink color Okay, 3 DC right now then 4 DC Okay, and the last one the 5th DC Right, we, we're going to have a uh, 5 DC. So for the last one you need to change the color Okay Yeah, okay, you just uh, make half of it in the light pink color and then you change to the pink color in this way uh, the color will be more blend to each other so now we're going to start with the pink 5 DC in pink 1 2 3 or 4 and 5 okay when we finish 5 of them change the color to the hot pink and make 2dc in hot pink color okay that's it after you finish this row you're going to have a uh, 12 stitches okay after you finish just uh, make slip stitch in the ring all right And then you turn for the third row, you turn and then you make five slip stitch in hot pink color. So uh, Pete uh, remind that that you need to make the slip stitch in the back loop only. So you see, I only uh, put the hook into the back loop. 
Okay, and then uh, when you finish it, you have to go to uh, row 4 by making 3 chain and then turn and then make DC in the same street, TDC in the same stitch, you know. So uh, please remind that you have to work in the back loop. So if you see the back loop is under under the, the range that you see, you know, don't put in the wrong one. Okay, 1, 2 and 3. Okay, to really see the same hook, and then uh, follow the code on the screen. Then make two DC in light pink. One, then, and then two. Okay, for the second light pink, you need to change the color to pink, and you uh, when you make half of it, just change the color to pink. All right, we finish the light pink. And then we continue with the pink one for 5 DC. And then just follow the code on the screen. Uh, you're going to have a 12 stitch on this row. After that, just slip stitch in the ring again. Okay, slip stitch in the ring. And then uh, after this row for row 4 to row 18, please uh, follow the code I wrote on the screen. So you will you can capture the screenshot uh, in order to uh, get the code and please do not uh, post this screenshot elsewhere. I mean, do not publish it elsewhere. Elsewhere, uh, you can uh, capture the screen to use on your own phone. All right, and when you finish uh, law fifteen, uh. You can follow the code on the screen uh, that you have already captured. But uh, this one, I show you how to do it. So uh, basically, you need to uh, make DC in the front, uh, in the first, in the two first stitch. Okay, for row sixteen, and then keep making uh, the code uh, I wrote on the screen. All right. Now. Uh, you will see that this is for row, uh, row 17 and 18 okay make the decrease again uh, just make 3 chain turn and decrease for row 18 and then just follow the code I wrote on the screen all right, you will see that it is a little bit like lower than order section. So this is how it works. Okay, and then lastly, you have to uh, slip in the ring and fasten off. Okay, for the chill list, uh, you just start off with a three chain in pink color and two chain in white color. And then we're going to turn and make second row starting from the third stitch. You make two DC in white color and DC in light pink color. So when uh, this is to the, the second DC and then you change the color and then make another DC in light pink. Okay, and then uh, you're going to make one chain and then turn and then make three slip stitch. One, two, and three. All right. And then uh, for row four, just uh, make three chain and then turn and make a uh, 3DC in back loop only. So uh, from the third row to fourth row and uh, the row after this, you're going to work on the back loop again. Just the same as the the chill body, chill base. Okay, so for the fourth row, you're going to make three DC in the same stitch and then make two DC in pink, in light pink. Now I change the color and then make two DC in light pink. So after you finish this row, you're going to have five sti stitches. Okay, and after this, for uh, row four, row five, row six, row 7, row 8, uh, just follow the code I wrote on the screen. Uh, this is a code you can capture the screen for the reference. 
after we finish the sixth row we start the seventh row and then row eight would be a bit a little bit different so for row seven you're going to make only five slip stitch and then for row eight uh you're going to make uh 2dc in white color and 3dc in uh light pink so uh is basically we will have only five stitches instead of seven and then for row nine and row ten uh, it is the same concept that you need to decrease until it have only three chain i mean three stitch all right and now this is you done for the shield lid uh for assembling um we need to cut uh the ring of the shield body shell base and then you make two of them you make two lid and make two shell and then sew it uh, you need to uh, give the space for the hole underneath the airport as well and then sew it uh, on the bottom first and then uh, make another one uh, put it and then sew it from the bottom and then uh, for this part you need to like stretch the shell in order that it will reach the ups it will reach up to the edge upper edge you know for the back side you know uh we're going to uh sew a little bit lower the edge and then for the lid you're going to do the same thing and then uh we need to uh, make a c alongside the shell in order to attach them together and make the better shape so uh i keep making a uh, to attach both parts together and then I need to uh, change the color corresponding to the shell color as well. Okay, after you reach the top of the row, uh, you're going to make uh, to make SC, HDC, DC, HGT and SC in the same stitch. So this one will form the curve uh, above the top of the row. For the first section, uh, you make this cord in the same stitch. And then after you finish the first section, uh, you will go into slip stitch. You make two slip stitch toward the second section. All right, now I'm on top of the second section and do the same move. Uh, make one chain first and then make a SC, HDC, DC, HDC and SC in the same stitch. For the another side, we're going to do the same thing but we have to start from the right side, you know. We need to start from the from the second stitch first. And then we repeat the same for, for the back side. After that, uh, we're going to make the same thing by reshaping the curve, you know. Uh, we're going to make for the shield for the shield bit as well using the white yarn you need to cut the yarn for the uh, considerably about you know and then make slip stitch the yarn in make sc make sc and then make slip stitch in the same stitch this one i finished the first one and then you pull the yarn through put all the yarn through so and then you're going to start to slip stitch in the second section so this way you don't need to like cut the yarn and secure it it saves a lot of time and your work is will, will be very neat at the back side so you're going to make the same thing uh just slip stitch the yarn in make one sc and make slip stitch in the same in the same stitch okay <laughs> all right and then you pull the yarn again all right and you repeat it okay i'm done uh, and after that uh, we're going to make starfish this one is a bigger starfish uh, we're going to make magic ring 3sc and then uh, increase for three time and then uh, 6sc and then uh, 6sc and in the different color so just follow the code of for on the screen this one will serve as only one point of the star Note that uh, after you finish the first, after you finish the second row, you must uh, reverse inside out because uh, or else it will be hard, too hard to do so. Uh, after I make five points already, I have to join them together. 
so you need to uh, put the hook into another another point and then make slip stitch in order to join them together okay make slip stitch all right and then uh, after this you make a uh, 3 sc one two and three okay three sc and you make slip stitch into another star point and then make slip stitch all right okay and then make 3 sc again 1 2 and 3 and then make slip stitch into another point this is a way to join them together slip stitch and make 3 sc again 1 two and three okay okay after that a uh, slip stitch again into the last point uh, make slip stitch and then make three points oh sorry make three sc again one two and three Okay, after that, you join them together. Just count three stitch in the first stitch, you know. Just count three back and then make slip stitch. Alright, and now we're done. We, we're going to have 15 stitches. For the second row and third row, or for the second row, we're going to make SC and then decrease. So keep in, keep in mind that you only work on the stitch that is SC for the stitch that is slip stitch. You don't need to work on it because you cannot put the, the hook into the seat anyway. So uh, just keep making on the stitch that you make SC, okay? And after you finish the second row, you're going to have 10 stitches. For the third row, you're going to make only 4 decrease. Uh, and totally after that, you're going to have six stitches in the end and then fasten off for the back side uh, you're going to make the same thing just repeat row one to row three And uh, also, uh, please fill in polyester fiber as well. Uh, and uh, you're going to like poke it a little bit to the tip of the point. And this is finished. Okay, and then we move on the mermaid tail. For the mermaid tail, you're going to start with uh, this one is a fin. So we're going to start with the white yarn and make 10 chain and then make 9 SC. Okay, after you finish the first row, you're going to make one chain and then turn and make egg is C in the back loop. Keep making in the back loop only. Egg is C. Alright, after you're done, just uh, make slip stitch, you know, just uh, turn and make slip stitch. And then keep making 7 SC. So now uh, is this a way that you're decreasing uh, the, the row, I mean, uh, sorry, decreasing the stitch and then you make it until the last row which will only have 3 stitch. After that, uh, change the color to pink color and then make 5 ST together. So this one you're going to decrease, uh, decrease the stitch dramatically. So make 5 ST together. So it's like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, and then slip together. Okay, you get this shape, right? And after that, make a slip stitch and then keep making slip stitch along the line using the pink color. 
and uh, when you arrive the the topper part I mean the, the tip part of the fin change the color to white okay now uh, I decided to change the color to white and then keep making slip stitch until the last the last stitch on the tip of the fin okay okay for the last stitch of the fin uh, you see the tip okay and this one is this one we're going to make a increase in the last stitch so increase is like uh, two SC in the same stitch one SC two SC this is increase okay and now we can fasten off and done okay and then make two of the fin and then join them together when you join them, use the pink color and then put the hook into two layer of the fin and make three SC. So make SC, SC and SC. So we have three SC uh, as the range for uh, in the middle of the fin. Okay, we're done and then this is the fish tail pattern. Uh, for the fish tail, we're going to start with magic ring for SC, and then for row one to row five, we're going to use the light pink color, and then for row six to row nine, we're going to use a pink color, and for row ten to row uh, thirteen, we're going to use purple. Also, don't forget to work in back row because you need to uh, make the fish scale uh, using the 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 loop from the the stitch that you have made so uh, this is the fish scale so basically you just slip stitch the yarn in and make uh, SC, HDC, HDC and SC in the same stitch so you're going to get something like this after you finish making the, the scale uh, one scale you're going to make slip stitch for, sec for two times okay this is first slip stitch and then another slip stitch and then repeat the same step for the scale one chain and then SC and then SDC and then SDC and then SC and then you're going to repeat the step until you uh, make the end of the of the row for the first uh, for the largest uh, I mean the first row we're going to have like seven scales for the second row we're going to uh, script one row we're going to make in every other row so uh, the the uh, the scale the scale curve will be decreasing like every every row to the bottom so totally uh, I have already made a full scale of the the fish scale I mean four row of the fish scale and then uh, I saw the fin on top of the tail like this so them okay after you I saw the the fin I we will going to sew the fish scale down to the tail as well and then we'll get this shape very cute okay and then fill in the polyester fiber after that uh, Let's finish and then uh, I made a starfish, a small starfish. Uh, I I start off with the magic ring 10 SC and then make four chain for the second row, make four chain and then uh, make SC in the second stitch from the hook. Make SC and then make HDC and then make DC. After that, you make a uh, slip stitch at the base. Uh, to make slip stitch, uh, make sure you count the 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 stitch from the uh, you count only two stitch from the from the hook, you know. So uh, this is a uh, and then you just continue making the second point count two stitch from the hook and then make slip stitch and then you're going to repeat it for five time and then make five point make two pieces of this. And you're going to do slip stitch around the fish 
uh, the starfish and also uh, just uh, fill in the polyester fiber inside okay now I keep making slip stitch to attach both parts uh, two parts okay we finished this little star and then we sew three of them on top of the airport case like that and then decorate it with the pearl beads uh, sequin glasses beads something like that I use the mixed pearl beads and then uh, the glasses beads and then the sequin uh, to decorate you can decorate for your own style Thank the last design is the seal and the beach ball as a charger protector this one I'm going to use the push yarn with a 6mm crochet hook and 3.5mm crochet hook for the seal we're going to use 6mm for head body nose and tail 3.5mm hook for legs and fin but for the base case you should make one low lesser than the other case we're going to use push yarn and then the stitch marker okay let's get started so i'm going to make the body first uh we're going to start with six cha eight, nine chains uh, and then uh i would recommend you this is quite necessary that you need the stitch marker because uh, it is so hard to identify the stitch you know when you are using push yarn you cannot see the stitch so uh, after you make like one chain or two just put the stitch marker on and you can see the stitch uh, for the first row make nine chain okay and then I put nine stitch marker After that, you uh, slip stitch to form the loop. Okay, this will form the, the big hole, you know. So, this will be the hole for uh, for the charger of the airport case. And then, uh, when I finish the first row, uh, for the second row, we're going to start with increase. Okay, just increase, you know. Just put the, the hook into the stitch that you have marked you know for the first one i put in the the green one and the second one make it c i put it into the the yellow one and then put another one in the yellow okay it's not yellow another one in the purple another sc okay and then after you make two sc the next one would be increase okay put the hook into the the pink stitch increase okay I make increase for three increases okay first increase uh, this is second increase and then the third increase so three increases totally after that make two SC one next stitch two and then uh, for the last the last stitch would be the orange one right make three SC in the same stitch one two and three okay and three all right oh, we are done after you finish this so you're going to have 15 stitches however you cannot count it anyway uh, for the third row okay just keep making uh, to SC and then increase okay for this one uh, the technique is that you cannot see the stitch anyway uh, but you can feel it by your hand you don't need your stitch marker at anymore but you can fill the hole you know the hole in between each stitch and then put the hook into the hole and then make the stitch all right after you finish this row you're going to have 21 stitches okay remember put the hook in between each stitch okay you fill the hole before you put it in all right and then uh you're going to continue as follow continue as follow uh, row 4 21 SC 
p r o f i t e 2SC decrease six times and then r o w s i c 3SC decrease for three times. Three times mean like three set. Okay, so you can repeat it around. Okay, all right, and you're done. You just fasten off. Okay, and then for the head part, uh, first row you're going to make magic ring six SC. So this one will be the same concept as the normal yarn. Uh, for the head one, okay, don't forget you have to use a six mm crochet hook as well. Uh, when you make magic ring, uh, keep the stitch marker. Because the first row will be the harder to identify the stitch. After the first row, it is quite easy that you can use your hand to fill the hole between each stitch, and then and then you can uh put the hook into the right stitch. Okay, this is very basic. First one, you the first row is six SC. The second row is uh six increases, and then the third row is SC increase. For six sets, and then fourth row is a uh, eighteen SC, and then the fifth row would be SC and decrease repeated for six sets. Uh, after you finish the the fifth row, you just uh, fasten off. Okay, now I'm done. It anything, alright. And then when you finish, put the polyester fiber inside the head, and then put the lid on the top and sew it. You can sew it using the light thread or any yarn that you want to. And then you can uh, sew the body covering the bed case. Uh, for the bed case, uh, in in the seal, uh, I mean you need to uh, make one low racer than the original cases I have presented in the beginning of this video. Um, if you want to sew the body part to the bed case, you I recommend you start from the below, like from the bottom first, and then just uh, reverse it like this, and then keep sewing the case, you know, uh, on the top edge. All right. Then sew, uh, sew the body to the base case around the top edge. The body must be at least uh, two point five centimeter lower from the lid, uh, because uh, if you make it close to each other, you cannot open the lid. Okay, for the leg part, I'm going to use only three point five mm hook because I need. It become like smaller and have more detail for the first row we're going to start with three chain and then turn and then make two SC on the chain uh, don't forget to put the stitch marker as well because you normally cannot identify the stitch in the first row so uh, I make two SC now one and two all right and then keep going uh, for the second row, make one chain and then turn and make decrease. Uh, you can use the same method that you just can fill the space between each stitch and then put a hook inside and then make decrease. Like this. Alright, it's not very hard. And then make one chain and then turn again and then make one SC on top. Alright, and then make one chain and then fasten off. Very easy. So you get the shape like this. And then you embroider the pow. Uh, you can uh, easily make only T line along like this, just like the pow. Uh -huh. And then uh, for the fin, uh, we're going to use a 3.5 mm hooks also. Uh, we're going to start with a 6 chain. And if you are skillful, you don't need to mark the stitch. Uh, section and then turn and then make a C and then, uh, sorry, first one makes a slip stitch and then the second one make a C and then HDC and then DC. And the last one 
would be SC. After that, fasten off. Okay, fasten off. All right, you get this shape. Okay, make two of them and then you join them together. So, uh, if you can fasten off, fasten off first and then don't need to cut the yarn. But for the first fin, you need to cut the yarn. Join them making the slip stitch together. When you make slip stitch, just put uh, the hook into another fin and then make slip stitch. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to mark the stitch for each of the fin. Mark the stitch. And then I'm going to make a C in the purple stitch first. Okay, make a C. And then turn and then make another a C in the yellow marker stitch. So this method, uh, it is substitute of sewing, so you don't need to sew both twin together. But if you feel more comfortable sewing, you can do that as well. You don't need to make a C. It's totally depend on you. And then I just fasten off. For the tail part, you stick an M crochet hook. Uh, first one start with four chain. One, two, three, and four. Four chain and then slip stitch to form the loop. You can use a stitch marker. If you cannot see, I cannot see the stitch as well, so I decided to mark them. Alright, again, make slip stitch to form the loop. Okay, and all right, you just make a four SC around. Just follow the the pattern I wrote on the screen. This is very, very basic. Okay, you can do the same method uh, as the head and the body part. After you finish row 6, you're going to have 15 stitches. Okay, and after you finish row 6, uh, I am going to make one chain and then turn and then make 4 SC. Uh, this one will make uh, some part a little bit like longer than another part because uh, we need to sew them by in the, in the good angle. So that's why I do this. Okay, and then you attach the tail to and the fin together. I make the slip stitch to stitch the yarn in, and and then it will be like this. So try to stitch the rip, the rip over yarn inside, and then you just fill in polyester fiber and then sew the tail to the the fin, and then fill in the polyester fiber, and then insert the Y for the tail bending first and then fill in the polyester fiber okay anywhere that you want all right and then insert the Y okay and then you can sew them sew the Y to the tail part and then sew tail sew the tail to the body part then the muscle uh, I also use the M M crochet hook and then make magic ring stick at C and then you can embroider the nose in the bow as follow. Uh, this one might be a little bit hard because it depends on your embroiderer skill. 
uh, that just you can do the way I do it. Do the outline first and then just filling inside the nose. Keep doing it until it is full. Alright, I'm now I'm done with the nose and then start making the, the mouth by uh, crochet, like by embroider the, the yarn below to the mouth shape like this. After you finish the muscle, just uh, attach it to the head part. Maybe you can use the liar thread. And then attach the 6mm eye above the muscle. This one is very cute. And then make the eyebrow as well. Okay, and then attach both legs in front of the body. After that, you can attach the head to the body too. Okay, now I finish an adorable cell. Then for the beach ball, I start with the core pass first by making 9 chain and then slip stitch. And then for row 2 to row 12, keep making 9 SC around. After you finish it, just fasten off. This one is will be the charger cover. Uh, and then the colorful part, uh, I make one by one. Uh, you can start making 2 chain and then turn and then SC. And then uh, make one chain and then turn and increase for the second row. For the third row, you make one chain turn and then SC increase. For the fourth row, you make one chain and then turn and make SC increase SC. Okay, just follow the code I wrote on the screen. I think it's quite simple. It's not so hard. Okay, after you finish this row 6, you're going to have 6 stitches. For row 7, make one chain, uh, 6 SC, and please follow the code I wrote on the screen until you come to the last stitch, which is uh, row 12. Alright, you get this shape, and then make 7 of them in multicolor, and then sew them together. You can sew it like this, and it's not so obvious. Just sew each side together, and then you have all seven sides put the core into the middle and then sew the core using the white thread the white yarn to the ball part sew it like this after that uh, you can fill in the polyester fiber first and then just sew the bottom part to the core this is the bottom part another size I mean okay and then uh, when you finish just fill more polyester fiber and then the last one you need to sew them together before crossing the hole just try to fill in the polyester as much as possible and then sew it to cross after that you can put the charger inside and now it is finished. It's look very cute on the seal. It look like the seal is standing on. Here we go. I hope you love it. I hope you like all of them. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more airport cases pattern in the future.